Hello guys, welcome back. Today I will teach you how to prepare depreciation schedule by using diminishing balance method. Before I start to prepare it, I would like to thank you so much to all because all of you love my channel. Now let's continue our task. Before we start to prepare it, we have to give the answer of these uh, questions then we can understand about their concept right because my goal is to provide the techniques or ideas about particular things that is in this video uh, depreciation right as well as their um, some basic concept too so now let's start to give the answer of this question quickly the first one is what is depreciation yes so simply the term depreciation means it is a reduction in the value of an asset over time due to in particular to wear and tear now second one is what is depreciation expenses yes depreciation expenses is the allocated portion of the cost of a company's fixed assets that is appropriate for the accounting period indicated on the company's income statement or profit and loss account it is an indirect expenses it is on debit side of profit and loss account now the third one is how many types of depreciation method basically there are five types of depreciation method but generally the the two methods are used the first one is a straight line method and the second one is diminishing balance method and the other are declining balance method it could be um either single double or triple and the other one is production depreciation method it could be in units hour or kilometers and the last one is sum of the years digit method right now let's start to prepare it before i start to prepare it we have to sum our basic requirement as a questions that helps us to prepare it okay so uh, let's start okay uh, this is uh, um, our questions i have just written here this question is based on when the depreciation rate is given in the question before i um, start to calculate or prepare the the depreciation schedule I want to remind you two things under diminishing balance method. The first one is when the depreciation rate is given in the questions then we have to calculate salvage value by using top right hand side formula that is this one okay. And the second one is when the salvage value is given in the questions then we have to calculate depreciation rate by using this formula okay so let's calculate salvage value first by using this formula so click here and write the name salvage value salvage value okay and uh, now let's follow this formula so press the equal to sign and click here press the multiply sign from your keyboard and place press open parenthesis and uh, press 1 from your keyboard press the subtract sign and click here and press the close parenthesis and press the power sign from your keyboard and click here I have just used this cell without dividing the hundred because this value is already in the percentage right so it doesn't matter for me okay now press the enter key all right so and now let's make this value with two decimal places okay and okay I have uh, changed this value into accounting format okay now let's prepare the depreciation schedule so click here and uh, write the name period so 
period and here write the name beginning value beginning value and here annual depreciation expenses expenses and here write the name accumulated depreciation expenses expenses and the last one write the name ending value ending value all right and press the enter key and now let's make this all sale with proper margin right okay i have done now let's fill up this table based on their title head and uh, follow me okay so click here and write 1 to 10 in in period column right from here to here so okay so click here and write 1 here 2 and select these two cell and drag from here to here i have just um made this table based on the useful life because we have only 10 years so i have just uh, prepared for 10 years and go to here and select this one okay now click here and uh, press the equal to sign and click here okay and press the f4 keys from your keyboard to absolute reference okay now press the enter key okay okay we have used here absolute reference right because it will help us to control the whole table that is this one from the question here question area that is from here now click here and the press the equal to sign and uh, click here and press the multiply sign from your keyboard and click here and press the f4 keys to absolute reference okay and press the enter key all right and click here and drag here to here all right and now click here and uh, press the equal to sign click here I press the enter key again click here and press the equal to sign and click here and press the edge sign from your keyboard and click here I press the enter key now click here and drag here to here all right now click here and press the equal to sign and uh, click here and press the subtract sign from your keyboard and click here and press the enter key now click here and drag here to here and again click now click here and press the equal to sign and click here and press the enter key and click again here and drag this cell from here to here all right and now select this cell and go to here and select this one all right okay we have done okay but remember the salvage value that is this salvage value should always equal to this value right you can see here the both value are same then we can understand or we can say our calculation is right otherwise it is not right okay now let's make 
this table better and attractive by using conditional formatting. So first, um, change these all cell from accounting format to number format. So click here and select this one. All right, and uh, use the comma style. All right, okay. Now select all these cell again and go to the conditional formatting and select new rule and again select use a formula to determine which cells to format so click here and click here press the equal to sign and press the dollar sign from your keyboard and write F15 and press the equal to sign and, and click here and go to format so click here and select any color you want I'm going to select this one and click on OK, okay. and again click on OK alright and the shaded um, area has not appeared due to the reason of additional places but uh, if you want to see then you can change these to any cell suppose here I'm going to select or change this cell from 21 to 15 percent alright and uh, here you can see the service value is 98,437.20 and here you can see these all the shaded area will show based on the service value because we have made the conditional formatting based on service value that is F column right so guys it is very easy to calculate it that's all for now thanks for watching the video if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to watch these types of video then please subscribe my channel and if you have any comment write the comment in the comment box below thank you let's meet you in another interesting video tutorial bye bye